Hey guys, this is Mr. Geis for Algebra 2, Unit 2, Final Exam Review. We're going to be on Video 2. We're going to be specifically going through problems 12 through 20. If you have any questions on the page prior, that's going to be Video 1, or problems after 21, that's Video 2. Okay, so please mind my restart now box that's up. My computer is going to shut down soon, but I'm going to get this video off first. So, let's go ahead and get started. Number 12 says to simplify using the rules of exponents. Now, in this problem, we need to remember that we need to distribute both of these before we get started. Okay, so this is really saying 2 squared times y to the 12th power, 3 squared y to the 6th power. Okay. 2 squared is 4, so we have 4y to the 12th. 3 squared is 9. Okay, now from this point on, we multiply the bases and we add the exponents. Okay, so when we do that, you should be getting 36y to the 18th power. Okay, all right, number 13. 4 to the 17th to the 0 power plus 1 ninth times 7 fifths to the 0 power. All right, so we need to distribute. Who remembers the rule when the exponent is 0, the base turns into one. Okay. So the four over seventeen that turns to a one. Okay. Plus one ninth and that turns to one over one. Alright. So we have one over one plus multiply all of that out. Oh, let's get out the highlighter. One ninth. Okay. So, before we do anything, we can't just add those because we don't have an LCD. So the LCD of 1 and 9, hopefully you do not have to count that out, but it's 9. Okay? So 1 over 1 is going to change to 9 over 9 plus 1 over 9. I'll be nice. I'm going to tell you what the denominator is. And then all you have to do is add the numerator. Okay? And you get 10 ninths. Okay, for number 14, distribute. So we get 7 to the negative second and 3 to the negative second. All right, now when your exponent's negative, you drop it like it's hot. If it's already on the bottom, bring it to the top. So we've got 3 squared over 7 squared. 3 squared is 9, 7 squared is 49, and can you reduce that fraction? No, you cannot. So 9 over 49. All right, number 15. Exponents negative. Drop it like it's hot, okay? So 7 squared goes to the bottom. However, on the top, you have to make sure to keep the 1 there, right? And then it's still negative. That doesn't change. 7 squared, we just did that in the last problem, is 49. Okay, 16. Exponents negative. Drop it like it's hot, okay? So we have 1 over 3 cubed plus 1, 2 to the first. 27 plus, oh, not 4, Mr. Grace, what are you doing? 2 to the first is 2. So for here, we need to find the LCD of 2 and 27. Now, when you count all those out, 27, 50, I wouldn't count by 2s because that would take forever. 
pardon that interruption. Uh, so counting to 54, two will go into 54. So that's going to be our LCD. We have to change both of those fractions. So 54 is the denominator. Now the first one, you only multiplied it by two. But the second one, we multiplied by 27. So 2 over 54 plus 27 over 54 gives you a grand total of 29 over 54. Number 17, exponent 0, your base turns into 1, okay? Just the y, that's the only thing that that uh, exponent is connected to. So now negative 27 times 1 is negative 27. All right, number 18, rewrite with only positive exponents. Assume the variables do not equal zero. So we have two x to the negative second, y to the ninth. So when your exponent's uh, negative, you drop it like it's hot. So two y to the ninth on top, x squared. And can we change anything about that? Can we reduce anything? No. So that is your final answer. Number 19, same thing, rewrite with only positives. So we're going to have to move some stuff around. And when we do that, we get 12t to the 8th, but then we brought up the v to the 5th. And then we have 7w to the 7th, u to the 9th. Okay, so can we cross anything out? Can we reduce any fractions? The answer is no. Now, the only thing that's going to change when I write my answer is my order, because we want the order to be in alphabetic order. Okay, so I switched the V and the W. And number 20. Simplify using the rules of exponents. Assume the variables do not equal zero. The final answer cannot contain negative exponents. Okay, so no negatives and we have to simplify. The first thing I, I look at is the 100 and the 10. Okay, you can reduce that. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So now we need to go to war. Who wins with the G's, the top or the bottom? Well, the top wins, and it wins by 2. Now let's look at the H's. Who wins, the top or the bottom? The bottom wins, and the bottom wins by 3. So our final answer for that is 10 G squared H to the 13th. Okay, so just remember with stuff like this, reduce and then play war. Okay, all right, well that's going to be it for problems 12 through 20. If you have any specific problems, come see Ms. Carranza or myself because we'd love to help you out. Otherwise, that's going to be it for Algebra 2, Unit 2, Final Exam Review, Video Number 2. Thanks for watching, guys.